Okay, let's make a terrain. Something we could use in our game. I have the 3D game kit loaded. It's a free asset. I'll put a link to how to get that installed down below if you already don't have it. I'm starting on the template scene. What we're going to want to do to start out is a right click in this project window. And select show and explore. <clears throat> we're going to want to copy, copy the template scene and put it in the gameplay folder. I'm going to rename it level 3. Hop back into Unity. Go into the gameplay folder. Open up level 3. It'll look exactly like the template level, of course. First thing we want to do is delete this plane that we have here. Just hit delete. Then we want to right click and create a terrain under 3D objects. I'm going to position it, center it. I'm also going to change the layer to environment. If you don't do that, when you start the game, the player character will fall right through. Then we want to go down here, select the settings option. I'm going to scroll down and make this terrain smaller. Then I'm going to scroll back up and select the paintbrush option. This drop down menu should be automatically set to paint texture. If it's not set to that, change it to that. Then click on the edit terrain layers button and create a layer. These are the stock assets that come with Unity's 3D game kit. You can go ahead and, you know, pick something with a normal map. There's a lot to choose from. I'm going to select the moss just as for fun. Double click it and it will automatically apply it. Then click on the object texture right here. And then open. This allows you to add the normal map. When you add the normal map, you add texture, depth, and you could increase the scale to increase that effect. You could also play around with these two. You 
You could play with the side. Now we want to click on terrain again. Repeat those steps. So we're going to edit the terrain layer and we're going to create another layer. We're going to look for something that contrasts what we already have. I use cliff big. Again, click the texture and open. Add the normal map. Increase the Then we want to select terrain again. Paint texture selected. Choose a brush shape. Anyone will do for now. You could increase the size also. Then just left click. You can open again the texture and edit the size. You can play around with those two options. You can see the different effects you get. Click back on Terrain. Select the drop down menu where you selected Paint Texture. Select Raise or Lower Terrain. You can select any brush. The opacity is going to determine how fast the, the terrain will raise. You might have to move the camera to get different angles. And you can select set terrain height. Excuse me, just set height. I'm going to start with 2.2. You can see that flattens a little area, makes a plateau. Also keep in mind, you can't lower the terrain lower than the starting point. So if you want to create a lake or a pit, you have to raise everything first and then lower a select area. You can go back to raise or lower terrain. I'm going to make the brush size smaller. I'm 
I'm going to hold shift and left click to lower the terrain. And then it's cool to go back to your paint ter terrain texture option. Add a new layer, create a new layer. I'm going to look for small stone. I'll open and add the normal map. Back to terrain and paint the texture. I'm going to decrease the brush size. I'm going to adjust the settings of the texture. And then with that all said, let's test it out. Well, I hope that helps you get started. The next video, we'll put vegetation and some liquid in our pit to make a lake. Please subscribe, and I'll get started on those videos as soon as possible. Hope everybody's doing good. Bye.